We have our intro. Boogie man, not booger man. How gnarly is the gnarliest legal trail on the shore? There's some pretty gnarly moves for <laughs> sure. Uh, it's I think the Sea to Sky is a unique place and the shore is a unique place yeah. and like the average level of trail here is really hard. People come here and they're like, oh my God, I tried to ride a blue trail and walked it. <laughs> I mean, I like it. It's at 11. Yeah, here we go. Yeah. Colby and Logan. Colby. Cool. Yeah. So I just broke my pelvis pretty bad, yeah. except nine weeks ago now, but it's still technically broken. Like x-ray from last week shows like... It's, it's so everywhere's crazy. a no-fall zone. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have any legal trails in your town that you're scared to ride? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> cool. Are you okay with that? Yeah, I'm good with that. Cool. Good. How's it going? What's up, man? I'm Jeff. Hey, Jeff. What's up, Blaze? Blaze, nice to meet you. You know, my whole goal really with the organization is like get the builders the ability to build the trail exactly as they want it. It's have them see their vision through. Cool. And however we can help with that. Dude. There both times have broken their broken two. Nice. Oh, good today. Is it pretty slick? Probably means probably not in the best interest. Yeah. Well, some skinnies could be cool. <laughs> You've been president for a year and a half now? Yeah, yeah, about that. What's been the hardest part of being involved with the NSMBA and being the, the club president? There's so many interests to balance, and that's not just the interests of within the club. Um, you know, everyone, every member's got a different, slightly different idea of things, so it's trying to balance all the opinions of all the members with all of the other considerations, be it land managers and what we can and can't do in various places, be it what the hikers are do, trying to do, or, you know, what other anti-mountain bike advocates in the community are saying about us. And so it's just balancing all of those things in a way that you feel is the best way. And that's that's the biggest challenge I have. How do you stay positive dealing with all those struggles? Come ride your bike. Nice. <laughs> So we'll go from here to, yeah, to Boogeyman to Boogie Nights. Boogeyman, you'll see uh, the Hamburglar on the side of the trail there. And we'll ride the Boogeyman Log, uh, which is kind of you know, this big iconic feature, it's similar to one of the logs we'll see up here, the Millennium Log. And uh, it has one, of, it's the only teeter-totter on Mount Seymour. So all the rest are on from, so you get to check that out and test those old trial skills. <laughs> I'm not really a trials rider, 100% honest, I'm not a trials guy. <laughs> One of the local land managers wanted to remove teeter totters from all the trails. And I mean, they're a bit of a circus parlor trick in the woods at the end of the day, but the community really, really spoke up about that and raised their voices. And the land manager overturned that decision and said, okay, well, we, we heard you. We will maintain these. We'll make sure that the, this history can remain. And so we can go check one out here later on down the ride. It's a little guy, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. I was stoked last year you sent me a message that 
NSMBA is like, I was very well aware of it. And you give me a heads up that what the group really needs isn't fundraising or anything, but it's membership. Yeah, I mean, like numbers, 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 numbers. And every, I think, trail association will tell you that. It does help with fundraising about, sure. you know, 2,000 members, 40 bucks a piece. There's 80,000 bucks that we can put straight into the trails. But really, it's that numbers piece for going and sitting across the table from a land manager and okay. saying, we have this many people that want this to happen. Yeah. And that matters. And two and a half thousand, which are at now, is huge. We're, I think, the biggest club in BC and maybe Canada. But we can always use more members. And sure. it's a way to just kind of start that engagement level. If you think of it as a pyramid and you're like a member, and then you come to a couple trail days, and then you totally. maybe start to come to a lot of trail days and like work your way up until you're a sucker like me and <laughs> doing 30 hours a week of volunteer time. <laughs> <laughs> I almost stuck the rear wheel on something. Oh, I'm already offline. Well, it's a little slippery. <laughs> my, yeah, line, that's that. my line is like, yeah. That right. safe looking spot? Yeah, right there. That's where this will be green. And... Oh, come on. Yes! A little square in there. It's okay. What's the number one thing a mountain biker could do to help the NSMBA? Easiest one, be a member. Go to the website, nsmba.ca. Uh, it might be backslash join, but there's nice. a big button right at the top. Cool, excellent. And that goes for any of your local trail associations. They need you, and that's, like I said, that's the base of the pyramid, and that's the first way to get involved, get on the newsletter, cool. just kind of start to see what's going on. Dude, thank you for showing us the trails. Yeah, man, that was awesome. I think NSMBA is up to some really cool stuff. And I hope we can help you join, get some more members to support the Odyssey awesome. group. Yeah. We love that. I mean, like as we talked about, members are, I won't say they're everything, but they're a huge, 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 huge component of it. Get so. those numbers bigger, represent more Absolutely. people. Absolutely. More influence with the powers that be. Indeed, the bigger pool we can draw from, the easier it is to get to, I think last year we did 13 and a half thousand hours of volunteer work. Yeah. And so light hands, many works. And you have multiple professional trail builders that earn a living building trails. Totally, wow. totally, totally. And driving, you know, a lot of the economic impact we see around here. There's a lot of yeah. people that live here. There's a lot of coffee shops, there's bike shops. There's all this stuff that's based on mountain biking. Without some form of legitimacy and without, you know, there's certainly some growing pains early on with mountain biking here in the North Shore, but without legitimacy, they'll take it away. Sooner or later, whether that happens tomorrow or 10 years from now, we would lose it all. And 
So having that legitimate sanction trail and network is super critical. I want to ask everyone real quick, back where you live, where you're riding constantly, do you have any legal trails that downright terrify you? Give me a comment below. I'm going to be cruising through those. And I'd love to hear if there's some super gnar, super sketch, super terrifying stuff out there that it's fully legal. <laughs> cool. Cooper, thank you for meeting up with us. Sick. Appreciate it. Thank all you guys for watching. Join the NSMBA. If you like this video, this is kind of similar to the local loam series, click the subscribe button below. I've got fresh videos coming out all the time. I'll see you guys on the trail. <laughs> Do they know my name? I don't know where we're going.